Before we get into today's video, I just need to remind everyone I'm not a financial advisor. Please take everything as entertainment only. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. What's the crack everyone? Welcome back to BioSL. I hope of course you're all well. Uh, today's video is just a quick one. It's a bit of an update on a video that I covered last week. It's a stock that I've covered many times on this channel. Um, I'm a big believer in the whole mining sector, especially when it comes to lithium plays and all that good stuff. So uh, I'll share the links here. You can go in and start checking out my, my previous videos. But the video that I did last week, I talked about selling. This stock has shot up over 150%. Um, and I believe, just looking at the, the RSIs and looking at the charts that we we're kind of going into an overbought territory. And I just thought, guys, based on the way the sentiment of the market in general, I just felt it was a place to be taking profits. Um, and just naturally after a huge rise, there was always a bit of a pullback. And just with the charts, I thought, mm, it's maybe shrewd to do that. It has proven to be that. Now today, I started, I put up a tweet and I put up something on YouTube just to say, to tell you all that, you know, I sold at 0 0.3 and I bought back in at 0 0.18. I'm starting to build up my position at that price following sort of a 40% pullback. That was it. And then I got bombarded with, you know, you you chart people think you know all of this, and it's just it got ridiculous, really. Um, I got kind of blew out of hand. People predicting that I knew about the news that came out today. Um, it actually had nothing to do with that. It's not an official news that's came out of a codal, but it would make sense to why there's been a natural pullback. But that doesn't change the fact that last week I sold based on huge rise, the natural feeling that there would be a pullback, and the charts told me that. The news just came out a week later, it had nothing to do with that decision and uh, nothing to do with my chart reading and, and as I said guys, I'm learning this journey, I've been doing stock trading for the best part of two years now um, and there's been a, and it's been pretty much full time, it's been relentless but I am literally learning every single day. People didn't like that I sold last week, people aren't liking that I bought back in, I don't know. But there's news that just came out today you know, that isn't good about the government um, situation that's out there. Um, now we've talked about this stock and many of the other mining companies that are outside of sort of the USA, UK, Europe, that there would potentially have issues with the governments, you know, especially um, the other stock that I talked about, Premier, uh, African Minerals, you know, the whole issues in, in Africa at times as well, all around the, the states that they're in, always had the potential to have big issues. Um, and that is something that has held up the progress in a lot of these stocks. And it's something that, you know, the government is just not the same as it is in the UK, for example. So it was a risk that we knew. The thing that is, the fact that it's pulled back, it's just pure coincidence um, based on the news, but that is probably been what it is. But so let's have a read and just get a bit of an understanding of what that is. But before we do, can you please like, please subscribe, try and help me grow this channel, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I do appreciate the feedback, albeit good, prefer that. But if I do get negative feedback, it's almost constructive, guys. I have no problem. I don't mind getting any debates with people, but if it's just people spouting off with no real factual stuff backing up their claims and it's just spreading hate, that's not what we need um, not for me I don't think the world needs that at all if you've nothing good to say don't say it but if you want to get in a constructive debate I am all for that please send me that but just don't spout things for the sake of spouting things it's just not the way I uh, conduct myself and I think everybody should do the same but here that's for a different day like let's get into today's video guys I think it's just worthwhile reiterating I talked about the charts I talked about the reason for selling at the start of the video and in my previous video go in the archives check it out but this is why in summary this is when we had the big huge rise, everything was looking rosy. And as you can see guys, we went into an overbought territory. We were up to 85, 87, 89 on the RSI almost. So I've said it many, many times in these stocks as well, that it doesn't really matter too much about the charts because you're gonna get mad swings. These are AM stocks, they're low uh, price and a little bit of news can come out and really get big rises, right? But it doesn't change the fact that when the charts are telling you that things are in an overbought territory and you've had a big rise. You can use that information and trade it. I am also trading Tesla because I think we're in a bit of a sideways market. And if you look at how Tesla's performed over the last three months, if I just had a held from the price that I had six months ago, I just would be losing money, hemorrhaging money. And it would just be in this caught in this trap of channel that it's in where if I use the charts, I can sell at the right time and rebuy. And I'm still keeping the majority of my money, but I do day trading, sort of swing trading on the rest. And that's the only way to play a sideways market, guys. If you just look at the history, and I've done a lot of reading in the previous history, there's times when a stock can go sideways. If you look at Microsoft, I think from like 
2000 to like 2000. For anyway, there was a period where it went for 16 years and it pretty much didn't do anything but go sideways. You can hold things for all you want, guys, but you're not going to make no money holding something, especially if you hold it at the price. Yes, you keep maybe buying it at the lower and you bring your average price down and you naturally will get a bit of money. But imagine being able to swing in that channel up and down over a pace of a month, buying at the bottom, letting it go up over a pace of a month, sell, let it go back down. These are the ways you've got to play. In my opinion, yes, you can hold and ultimately you'll get the long way. And the whole quote of, you know, you can't time in the market, it's time in the market. I buy into all of that. But at the same time, if the market's going sideways, use it to your advantage. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened here. This is what happened. It's went up, went huge run, went to the heart side, it was over. And I started phasing my money out, as you know, from the 11th. And I was completely out when I did the video on the 17th of May, apart from five pound I left in just to keep it on my radar so I could watch the percentage swings. And since then, guys, it has went down, down, down. And I have saved myself 40%. So I'm delighted with that trade. Now, based on today's news, I mightn't phase in as much money as I originally anticipated because let's have a look. This is the news that has came out today. Writers uh, who have done articles for, go down in the description, guys, have a read. They're a good read. It's actually on US News, this article, but it, it has come from writers um, who I'm a big fan of. Again, like I said, I go read those articles. But uh, why Malia is in turmoil again. Malia plunged back into crisis on Monday when military officers detained the interim president, prime minister and defense minister, derailing a transaction back to civilian rule after last year's coup. The latest events threatened to exacerbate instability in the West African country where violent Islamic groups linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State control large areas of the north and centre, following any details of the origin of the crisis and the risks proposed in the region. What happened? Okay, so the President, Prime Minister, Defence Minister were taken to a military base outside of the capital of Bambanko, hours after two members of the military lost their positions in the government reshuffle. A retired Colonel was sworn in an interim president in the September after President Ibrahim Boapakar Kita, God, I am butchering these names, really, really struggle with that, guys, really apologize, um, was overthrown by the military the, the previous month. He was tasked with leading on an 18-month transition into new elections. He has faced a difficult balancing act with various political factions and the leaders of the coup against Kita and jockeying for political influence. So why have they done this? The military's ultimate goal was not immediately clear, but his actions came after two of the leaders of the last year's coup, Sadio Kamara and Modibo Kone, lost their posts in defence security minister in the government reshuffle. Former Millennium government official told writers that the sacking of Kamara and Kone was an enormous misjudgment and that the military's actions were probably aimed at restoring them back to their posts. Okay, so then just talk about the stuff that's been done up to date. Um, France, not that we've went in any detail at all about these things, but we know that there was turmoil. We know that there was unrest in these. A lot of parts of Africa, to be fair, has been an over blanket statement that I have said in my videos, but we know there is issues. In the United Nations, European Union and regional countries all call for the immediate release of the detained leaders so i mean i suppose that is massive guys you know they've got people captured they need to get these guys out the eu's top diplomat joseph borrell says sanctions will be imposed against those standing in the way of the transaction so guys look that's that's the situation um unrest uncertainty and we know the markets don't like uncertainty so i do believe naturally this is causing like there's nothing officially out from codal on this you know to say it has affected their operations um, I mean, at a high level, you can see why it would, but at the same time, day to day, why would it? Someone that's from Northern Ireland who's got political unrest for pretty much my whole life and beyond, um, it's, it's something that we live with daily. Now, I'm not comparing these things in any way whatsoever, but all I am saying is at a very, very high level, just because there's government breakdown, um, which we had in Northern Ireland for several years, we had no government, it doesn't mean the world just comes to an end. So, it would be nice to get an update. Are they still able to do what they're hoping to do? Now, there was deals with the, the government, and I mean, if the government's not there, maybe that will cause an issue. But I think, ultimately, it's a reaction to this news. Market doesn't like uncertainty, and that is definitely what we have, guys. So, look, I'm taking the opportunity. Regardless, I sold at the right time for the chart readings, and I'm buying back in, potentially because of this news. Maybe that is the only reason why it's fell. I don't know the answer to that. But what I do know is there's an opportunity here, and I'm starting to phase in my money. 
Thought I'd bring it to your news. People don't know what's happened. That is really what's happened. I just believe it is uncertainty. Leave your thoughts below, guys, because again, we're all learning this together. Please leave any comments below. I would love to hear it. Check out the links in the description below. I've actually found a good day trading platform, kind of going what I'm talking about, Comex. It's down there. You might as well check out that link as well, alongside the other links that I have for my writer's articles um, and some discount codes are for crypto that I use. You might as well, if you want fancy getting some uh, discounts, check it all out, guys. It's all good stuff. Get me on Twitter. Get me on Instagram. And until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Yeah. Coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not.